Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how to fix a car that stalls out intermittently every once in a while. Now in the case of this Corvette, it'll start up and run okay and all of a sudden it just stalls out when it's idling. But it does have the service engine soon light which serves as a check engine light in this so we're going to scan it. So we plug the old scan tool in and let's see what it says. It says PO335 crankshaft position sensor circuit malfunction. Now that does make logical sense for stalling because the crankshaft position sensor, here it is, in the case of this Corvette, it measures the flywheel spinning around to tell the computer what position the crankshaft is in. And if it loses data, it can shut the car off because it doesn't know what's going on, it doesn't send the pulses, so the car doesn't run. Now these sensors, the crankshaft position sensors on GM products, they go out all the time. So we're gonna replace it and hope that that's the only thing that's wrong, that it doesn't have a wiring fault or computer failure, or even worse, the reluctor on the flywheel has fallen off and is no longer sending a signal here we would have to pull the transmission off the car in order to fix it. So let's hope it's just the stupid sensor. Now they hide them all over the place, but if you look it up on this Corvette, it's on the bottom of the car, but you have to remove the starter to get to it. Another brilliant GM design. Now since we have to remove the starter, first we're going to disconnect the battery terminal so we don't short anything out. We'll just unvolt it, pull it out of the way so it can't touch the positive terminal and make a short somewhere. Now the circuit's open so there's no power. Now we'll jack it up in here so we can get to the starter. And in the case of this Corvette, we certainly want to use a jack stand. They're low to the ground. And if something happened, it fell down, it would squash you like a pancake. So under it goes. And even though I started with the small mat, I got my big gorilla mat now. Because I can slide it under and crawl under without getting dirty. And as we slide under, we look. Here's the starter. It's got two bolts on it that we take off. We take off one, take off the inside one first because that's often kind of in the way. So you want to get the harder one to get off first. And there goes one. And there goes the second one. It's a 13 millimeter socket if you're curious. Got long threads and out it comes. But of course you know there's not enough room to get it off without taking everything off. So now we got to take off the power line up here and we got to take that off. Then once you get all those stupid wires off, you don't have much working room. You can wiggle it up enough. Well, wouldn't you know, GM makes them like crap. The casting mark on the engine block is in the way, so you can't get the starter off. The only way you're going to be able to get the starter off is by pulling the catalytic converter and the exhaust system off. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, if you look way inside there, you can see that wire with a green end on it. That is for the sensor. I'm just going to reach in there with my hand and unplug it and unbolt it and put the new sensor in without actually removing the starter because I don't feel like taking half the car apart because GM engineers have their fingers so far up their rear ends they're coming out of their mouths. Now I can't film this because I can't even see it. I'm putting my hand in there blind. I can't see what's going on in there. But I'm using one of these 10 millimeter gear wrenches with the ratcheting head so I can get it at an angle to get the 10 millimeter bolt off so I can unbolt the bolt that holds the sensor in place. Here's the new sensor itself. When it's bolted in, there's a bolt holding it in and we're unbolting that. Then we got to get this out and as you can see there's a seal. It always gets stuck. So we got to pry that out after we unbolt it. And here's a giant screwdriver pry bar I'm going to use for that once we unbolt it. And here we go, the pry bar. Up. There it goes. There's the old sensor. It popped out. And as you can see up here, it's really hard to get to focus it in because <laughs> yeah. there's not much working room. There it is. There's the new sensor. It's popped back into the hole. We just have to put the bolt in. We'll zoom out. You can see it's in a really horrendous place to get to. And as you can see here, the only way you can get it in is with this shiny little gear wrench. There's barely any room to even get your hands in there, so I can't film it, but <laughs> it gets it nice and tight. Just make sure you have one of these little gear wrenches to go in there. Here it is after it's done its job. It can get in just about any position with the swiveling head. Then of course, as you can see here, you got to make sure you got the electrical connection snap back in. We'll get in focus. There it is. Now it's plugged into the sensor. There's the sensor, there's the plug, and it can work. Then we gotta put the wires on here and put the bolt on to hold the cables on. And then of course we have to snap this other wire on too. And of course we gotta put the two bolts back on. 
and hold the starter in place. Do it by hand, then use the ratchet. Gotta put the battery terminal back on. Get it nice and tight. We don't want it coming off. Uh, there, it's nice and tight. But we're not gonna jack it down just yet, cause hey, maybe something's loose or not working. We're gonna try it while it's up in the air before we jack it down. So now we can jack it down slowly and take it for a road test. And away we go. It's going sideways. Got a lot of power now. <laughs> so the next time your car randomly dies, pray that it's as easy as the fix of this one. Adjust replacing the crankshaft position sensor. Cause now you know how it's done. And in most cases, they're not as big of a pain in the butt to do as this Corvette is. Not that you stupid thing. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.